What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing that I am really looking forward to. This is the new Sidekick 4G. I've got a very nostalgic place in my heart for the Sidekick brand and I was a little bit distraught when I thought that it was going to be killed completely by the folks at T-Mobile but it is supposedly back with a vengeance now ditching the Danger Sharp combo who manufactured the hardware and the OS in the past. Now we've got Samsung and Android right on board. Let's go ahead and see if the Sidekick 4G is worthy of the Sidekick name. Alright, so the box is kind of neat. You've got a new Sidekick logo, SK. Got some Sidekick branding on the sides right there as well. I've got the phone number covered up. Talking a bit more about the specs, of course, I'll run through all that business. Uh, you're going to have Android 2.2 on board, but really makes us a sidekick as opposed to just a standard Android phone. Is this social address book with Facebook and Twitter clients, enhanced media experience with Media Room and Media Hub. There's all kinds of sidekick features that you would expect. So let's go ahead and dig in. I have not opened this box up yet. I have not touched one of these, so I am very excited. Uh, the original sidekick and the sidekick 2 are some of my first smartphones that I owned. I was really, really excited about it. I loved the social media features uh, that it had at the time. and had the built-in AIM, which was uh, kind of neat. So here it is. It definitely looks like a sidekick. Push it off the side for just one minute. There is the white color. Let's see what else we're going to get in the box. I'm guessing it's going to be battery and cables. But let's go ahead and check it out. So we've got an adapter for the micro SD to standard SD card. That's great. Wall charger. It is using uh, micro USB, which is nice, and USB to micro. Nothing all that exciting there. It looks like there are some books in here as well. Let's go ahead and check that out and get right to the phone. Yep, there's some books. Quick start guide uh, and the rest of it. Push that off. All right, so here is why you're all here and something I am, again, uh, very excited and, again, also very nostalgic about. Here is the Sidekick 4G. So let me go ahead and run through the specs of this guy because there is actually a lot to like. Uh, first, it's going to be available April 20th from T-Mobile with support for their HSPA Plus network. Uh, so you're going to get up to 21 megabits per second and also kind of cool support for their HSUPA for uploads. Uh, you'll be able to get up to 2 megabits per second. It's got a 3.5 inch of course, capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 480 by 800. And I will pull this sticker off. I know I can see the comments already with everybody talking about it. Uh, it's got a, so again, the 3.5 inch screen. It weighs 5.7 ounces or 162 grams if you're so inclined. Being powered by Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, this one is Samsung built. So it's also going to have the same processor we've seen in the Galaxy S line of phones, which is the Cortex-A8 Hummingbird, uh, which is a 1 gigahertz processor. On the back, let's go ahead and take a look at the rear. We are going to have a 3 megapixel camera. Also on the front, we are going to have a VGA camera somewhere, which I guess lives right there. And VGA is 0.3 megapixels, in case you were wondering. And you're going to have full flash support. So let's go ahead and peel this sticker off the screen. Let's take a look at this new opening and sliding mechanism. Previous generation sidekicks, as opposed to the sidekick slide, swiveled up. Uh, this one does not do that, I don't believe. It's got kind of a cool sliding mechanism to it. You can see, also got a little bit of a tilt. You push it back, you can see how that works. Kind of neat. Uh, works very well. Slides right up. A uh, keyboard, at least on first blush, appears to be very spacious. The sidekick line is really known for a very nice QWERTY keyboard here. You've got a full row for numbers. QWERTY, looks like you've got a pink shift. Sort of in line, I guess, with the T-Mobile branding. You also have some pink, or I probably should say magenta, uh, accents here on the side. And the back, you've got your T-Mobile branding. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. Actually, I will power it on. And while it's powering on, we can talk a little bit about it. I think that's probably the power button down below. There we go. All right, so Sidekick. So you've got your typical array of Android buttons. You've got a back button. I believe that's probably going to be your home button, a menu button, and something that I'm guessing is going to have a Sidekick-specific set of features. Uh, we've got, looks like an optical. Yep, that is an optical uh, four-way 
navigation. As you move your finger over it, it'll navigate around for you, similar to scroll ball. You can also push it in, so you're going to actually get five way. Uh, booting up into Android. On the top of the device, you're going to have your charging port under a door. I find those doors to be really annoying. Samsung does them. Sometimes they make them slide. Sometimes they have this little bit of plastic. Generally, I take those off, but that's a personal preference thing. Looks like we're going to have your camera button right on top as well. Like you got that 505 booting up there on the bottom. That's where the volume rocker is going to live. And it looks like that's probably the power and lock button. Also a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. There's a little bit of a hump on each side, which actually as you hold it and you're typing, should give a little better uh, and improved typing experience. So it looks like we are booted up here. Let's take a real quick look at the operating system. I'll do a full walkthrough of all the Sidekick features. This is my first time actually taking a look at this. So let's see what this mystery button does. I'm guessing, yep, it pulls up so it's a jump key. You can go ahead and set all kinds of settings, I'm assuming, uh, for this jump key. Jump key settings. Jump key shortcuts. So that would be the jump key. And you can go ahead and navigate with this. That is indeed the home button. See sensitivity of the touch screen. Seems to be working pretty well, about what we'd expect from a pretty decently powered uh, phone here. Alright, so this has been a first look and unboxing at the Sidekick 4G. We'll be showing a lot more of this guy coming up. Of course, it's got an accelerometer and full touch screen and all that uh, business that you'd expect from a modern uh, smartphone. So guys, what do you think about the Sidekick 4G? Are you excited? Not excited? Um, you know, what's your thoughts on this? As you open it up, let's see the screen. We'll do its little rotating business. You got a phone, apps, and contacts that are kind of neat as well. So there's a lot of skin going on here on top of Android 2.2 to make this a sidekick. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting through this and seeing if it lives up to the sidekick name. Uh, the Android smartphone market is getting very crowded and it's getting tougher and tougher to differentiate. So let's see if Samsung and T-Mobile have a winner on their hands. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech news and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So the one last thing I want to show you guys is actually a size comparison. Oftentimes, and almost all the time, phones with physical QWERTY keyboards, especially those that slide out like this guy, add a little bit of bulk. So let's bring in some phones to give you a sense of how thick this phone is going to be. Here is the Droid 2. Go ahead and see that the Sidekick 4G is about what you'd expect from a thickness standpoint. Here it is with the Droid X, which is by no means a thin phone. This does, of course, not have a slide-out QWERTY keyboard, but you might be familiar with the thickness of it. You can see that right there. And for those of you that want to see it next to an iPhone, uh, you can see what the thickness difference is here as well. It's really not bad. It's got a pretty nice feel to it in the hand, too, and doesn't weigh uh, all that much. So, guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and this really is the end.